I have Jerry and Gautam here from Solutions IQ who would be helping us in this today's session. And uh, I hope, I mean, did any one of you get any intimation to, you know, to carry your diving suits? No? <laughs> okay, don't worry, even if you don't have, doesn't matter, we'll really explore a lot in this one hour. So what I would be doing in this one hour is I will make you all to really deep dive into this limitless sea of retrospectives, which has been one of my interest area for, for a couple of years. Okay, so I'm Madhvi, I'm from Solutions IQ, I'm from Hyderabad, and I work as an Agile Consulting Coach for SIQ. Okay, so that's about me. And uh, Jerry, would you like to just introduce? Okay, so Jerry is our, uh, no, he's a coach, and he's an Agile Consultant at SIQ. He's uh, CSC, so he will be helping us in this session too. Okay, so how I have divided this one hour session is, the first 15 minutes, I will be do doing a retrospective surgery where we will talk about the common symptoms, the common smells that we come across while doing the retrospectives, and what was my approach of tackling them. And then, the remaining 45 minutes, you all would be doing a retrospective surgery wherein I will be giving you some real life example scenarios and you will play with it. Okay. So, retrospective surgery. Why am I calling it surgery? Any thoughts? Postmortem. Post okay. <laughs> okay. Any other thoughts? Why surgery? Yes, Jeff. Okay. Good. Thank you. So, difficult. difficult, good. Okay, so assume you, know, you have you know, a patient suffering is with the diabetics and he has a tumor in a hand, okay, and he comes to a doctor. What would a doctor do? Would he directly take him to the operation theater and operate? No, right? What happens if he does that? That might be his last day, right? So what does a doctor do typically? He tries to assess, he tries to do some preliminary investigations, find out the background of that particular person, what are his ailments, get some preliminary information and then he will suggest a suitable surgical procedure that will suit him, right? So that is the same case even in software engineering. When we are working with teams, when we are trying to, you know, use some method or a technique, understanding the background and the context of the teams is very, very important. So we as scrum masters and agile coaches, when we are working with the teams, we need to really understand what is the context, what is the background, what is the situation that we are posed with, and then try to use a suitable technique or a method that will actually suit the given scenario. Got it? 